We've got mostly clear skies overhead right now. It's a cool day taking shape 58 degrees, but this is actually pretty close to where we should be this time of the year. It will not be this warm for quite a while, so enjoy it. Arctic air spills in next week. Live Super Doppler 4 dry right now. Hard to believe this time tomorrow we'll be tracking widespread rain and the possibility of some thunderstorms. Winds coming out of the southwest, and that's important because we start off cool tomorrow, uh, but uh, these temperatures around 60 across the area are going to be in the near freezing mark tomorrow. That could lead to a wintry mix in the mountains at the high peaks tomorrow morning. It won't amount to very much because as the day goes on, that rain moves in. It's really going to be here about 1 o'clock and beyond. We'll have some showers. We'll have some thunderstorms, but notice in Greenville northbound, we're just so cold, and that's going to be the game we'll play tomorrow. How warm does your town get? If you stay in the 40s, the 50s, you'll be fine from severe weather. If we get into the 60s, that's when we'll be concerned about severe weather, including the risk of tornadoes, which I'll show you in just a moment. Asheville and Hendersonville, a cold rain for you. Temperatures get up to around 45 degrees. No getting around this rain tomorrow. It'll come in. Here is where I see the concern. Notice how it's so cold in the northern part of the upstate, but south of 85, right exactly where we have our severe risk tomorrow, it's closer to 60. That's fuel for thunderstorms, and that's exactly where that risk for severe weather. The good news, we have been removed from the high risk, and the significant tag I told you about yesterday has been removed as well. That means if we were to get a storm, it could have been around EF2 or greater. Not to say that won't happen, but that risk has gone down just a bit. There's no high high red uh, designation across our area, but it is a level two medium risk that we'll need to watch and including tornadoes. When I look specifically at that threat, south of 85 has a level two medium risk. The storm itself is forming right now and will really take shape tomorrow morning. It's a low pressure in the upper parts of the atmosphere. That part's there, but the surface response to that gets going tomorrow morning. We'll start off dry, but by lunchtime or so, we'll be seeing some rain move in two o'clock and beyond is when I expect the heaviest rain to arrive and it embedded in this could be a few thunderstorms thunderstorms through three, four, five o'clock. By the time we get to six or seven o'clock, things are improving drastically. So a little bit of a faster exit than we previously thought. I think by seven, most of us are dry and we're cooling down behind this front. So the storm impact, strong winds and tornadoes, a medium risk at this point. Flooding has gone down. We've had enough time to let those streams and creeks settle and we're expecting about an inch of rain. So that's enough that we can kind of handle. Okay. Saturday, Sunday, we've got cold conditions and dry, but my Martin Luther King Monday, we've got cloudy skies returning and some snow showers move into the mountains early on Tuesday morning. Now we've got to watch this. Notice the northern part of the upstate is actually included in a little bit of snow. It's because we're so cold. I don't expect it to be a lot. This is a very moisture starved system, but we need to watch Tuesday closely. Given a little bit of a different tweak here or there, this low pressure system could yank in more moisture and we could get a little bit of snow across the area, mainly for the mountains. Mountains, but I'm just telling you this pattern bears watching because it is very active and we have very cold air nearby a couple of different times next week. Let me show you. So enjoy today because it is warmer than it's going to be for quite some time. Big piece of Arctic air settles into the United States next week. You got well below zero temperatures toward the upper Midwest on Tuesday and that settles into our neck of the woods by Wednesday morning. You got teens to around 20 across the upstate and the mountains even colder than that later on that week and it looks like we stand a better chance at being colder than normal all the way through Sunday, January 21st at this point. So the four day looks like this, an impact day with some rain and some storms possible, mainly in the afternoon and evening, 54 the high. 48 on Saturday. We're near 50 on Sunday. Martin Luther King Day is partly cloudy, 48 degrees. A cold rain right now in my forecast for Tuesday. That system is moisture starved, so it's even a debate of whether we get any rain or not, but we'll need to watch that closely. Again, cold air is nearby. Look at my high for Wednesday, 39 after starting off at 17. That's for the upstate. Western North Carolina, you'll be even colder than that. A wintry mix possible on Tuesday, followed by 8 degrees Wednesday morning. Ouch, 35 by Wednesday afternoon.